Fans are looking forward to the next game. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Nicole Gruber. A loss for Canada at the World Cup, but fans are still energized for what's next. At an emergency shelter update today, the city asked council to add more winter shelter space at Jasper Place Wellness Center. The goal is to convert hotel rooms to 209 spaces. It would cost $7.5 million and be used for six months. Mayor Amarjeet Sohi says with the province providing 450 beds, these additional spaces would hopefully be able to provide a bed to more than 1,250 people experiencing homelessness. The drilling industry is looking forward to 2023 with optimism. The Canadian Association of Energy Contractors expects over 6,400 wells to be drilled next year, about a 15% increase from 2022. As Edmonton's Food Bank launches its annual festive campaign, demand is at a level never seen before. So far this year, the food bank purchased over $3 million worth of food. This past month, it helped 30 to 35,000 people with hampers. Executive Director Marjorie Benz Knight says the food bank is also receiving about 1,000 calls a day from people in need. A new adorable way for patients in emergency rooms to feel a little better is now making its way across the province by a research team at the University of Saskatchewan. Our Shelby Clark spoke with one of the co-founders for more details on the Pause Your Stress program. The turnout for today is quite big despite needing to have a little smaller in-person attendance this year. And for the remainder of the day, people will be heading out into breakout rooms where they will get a chance to hear from more inspiring women in a smaller group. The latest provincial budget included record health care spending in an attempt to address strain after two years of a pandemic. Now, it appears Saskatchewan spending is getting a boost from Ottawa. But as CTV's Caitlin Wibbs explains, some say it may not be enough. Jubilation's Dinner Theatre's tour, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, is now in Edmonton following its Calgary performances. While we may not see many changes to travel here in Alberta, if we do see another lockdown, will universities and colleges such as Nate have to see another online semester? Or will they be implementing new measures in order to help prevent having to send most of their students back online? Welcome back. When you were younger, you always wanted a chance to speak to someone you looked up to. And a grade 7 class is doing exactly that. Jasmine King has the details in this week's Beyond the Classroom. Students started celebrating Carnival on Monday and it will continue throughout the week until Friday. And they still have a few things to look forward to, including the big pancake breakfast, which will be virtual this year on Friday. For Primetime Local News, I'm Nicole Gruber. The Board of Saskatchewan Health Authority has unanimously voted to end its contract with the company that operates ambulances in Lloydminster. Members of the community gathered at the Lloyd X this weekend to celebrate the legacy of a local figure. With more, here's Tate Laycraft. Amanda Bumgarner is hard at work making cookies for her busiest time of year. She never planned on running her own business, but now it has become a part of everyday life. I had a friend who does, she does cakes and macarons and decorated sugar cookies. And um, I was like, I think I want to learn how to do them just for us. So she gave me some tips and pointers and it was, it was not pretty the first time. <laughs> at all. After making some for a friend, she started posting her cookies online and her unintentional business started to grow. It just kind of blew up, <laughs> which I was not expecting. I, I had no interest really in like starting a business or making cookies for other people just because I had just started. I'm, I'm kind of I'm glad and grateful that it kind of blew up. Both her husband and son fully support the business and love testing new flavors. It's just been incredible to see this talent come out from all the work with the cookies. Along with custom orders, she also started an online boutique selling cookie-related items. It started with the candles, and then we did the wax melts, um, and then I reached out to another local maker and was like, can we put like funny dessert or cookie sayings on mugs and add those in? Baking isn't for everybody, but for Amanda it is. Her business is growing every day and custom orders have to be made months in advance in order for people to get them. 
But this summer, everything was put on hold, including her business. When her family went through something, no one ever wants to go through. Their son, Xavier, is a brain injury survivor. He acquired that when he was almost six. He's going to be 12 now in March. And because of that, like he has a seizure disorder and permanent brain damage. He was seizure free for about three years. And then he had a seizure last December and then he just had one this July. So they ended up doing an MRI um, and they found out that he is losing white and gray matter. We still don't know why. It takes forever to try and figure things out. August consisted of trips to hospitals and waiting for any answers on what might be happening. And as they faced this hardship, the amount of support they received was unimaginable. The support from the local community is just absolutely amazing. I'm so honored and just can't thank enough for everybody reaching out, being supportive, the donations, everything that we got. Local businesses that stepped up and like donated proceeds. And there was a bunch of local moms that sent gift cards like for Skip because we were supposed to be admitted and they were like, you know, that's hard on the pocketbooks. Doctors are still looking for answers. And for Amanda, her son is her number one priority and the reason behind the name Tough Cookie X. The X represents Xavier. Can you tell me how far you are? Mom, come here. Mom, come here? What? Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, go, go answer her questions. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot? <laughs> yeah, she works even more than daddy sometimes. <laughs> For Nate Newswatch Extra 2021, I'm Nicole okay, Gruber. Do you get it?